Okay, um, I'm going to try to do some of these smaller uh, videos. This one, I've got a head here. I'm just going to focus real quick on doing an ear because that's something that you pretty much have to do all the time if you're going to be sculpting any humans or really any animals at all. Um, so what I, I've got a head here, it has no ears. Um, what I generally do is start off, come up to uh, the insert mesh primitives, go to insert sphere, and then I'm going to take the Z intensity down so that I'll get more of a, a flat rather than a, an actual sphere. It's more elliptical, I guess. Then I'm going to come up here to rotate. And I'm just going to turn it until it's about the way I'd picture an ear being. I'm going to grab this and drag it out. A little bit smaller. Angle it. And then I'm going to come down here to move. Ears are generally a little bit kidney shaped. I usually just push and pull a little bit about where I want it to be. Pull it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, split mask points just so it's a separate subtool there. Now I'm going to click on control and drag off. Here, hold on, let me make sure I got it on. I want a dynamesh to just give it a little bit more resolution, so I've got a little bit more to sculpt on. And you come down, use just clay build up, turn off dynamic. I'm going to turn the intensity up a little bit there. And then for an ear, I generally start just like this. Sort of a C shape there, just a curve. And you'll have another curve on the inside there. And I like to then go ahead and mark off there. As long as this little bit there where it dips in. Shave that back a little bit. And then the next thing I'm going to do is turn that up a little bit. After I've got that shape, you know, this curve and the inner curve, you want to get that edge there. And you're going to end up having like these, sort of like a Y shape there. So I will go back, carve this in. And it gets shallower as you come around here on most stairs. And I'm just carving, I'm, I'm holding down uh, Alt, so I can, I'm not adding, I'm carving away there. You can do this, leave it fairly rough at this point. Doesn't really matter because you're going to be smoothing it all out quite a bit. And then I always like to add, make sure this comes out because it's not really flat on most people. It's going to be coming out a little bit. And then, you know, while it's still pretty rough, go ahead and grab your move brush again. Just push and pull. You're going to have a lot of weird, weird lumps and stuff going on. And then at this, you always want from the front to be able to sort of see the cup. And then this, pull that in a little bit. Keep turning it, make sure you got good angles on everything. And then at this point, I generally will hide everything but that because I want to do the back side. I want to sort of give it, um, I guess it's convex. I can never remember which is which. I want to make sure I got mask by, well, I want to make sure I got back face mask on so it won't pull the front edge in. 
just want to go ahead and get that shape of the back of the ear. a little bit better. Okay, and then still super, super rough. What I'm going to do is go ahead and Dynamesh again. And then I'm going to go to, I've got mine set up here, Polish by Groups, but it will generally be down here in Deformation. Polish by groups, hit it so it's the big, big circle, and then just drag a little bit. And there you go. Again, Dynamesh again to get rid of that little artifact there. And from this point, I mean, you've got it roughed in. You can do whatever you want at this point. I mean, I'll, I'll go back and, and do quite a bit to just clean up stuff. Make sure that's well-defined. I'm not putting a hole in there because this... If anything, it'll just end up being printed at some point. And then I'm just I'm just going over smoothing things out a little bit there. I want to make sure I got my face mask on for the smooth brush so it doesn't mess up the geometry on the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring the head back up. Oops. There we go. And yeah, you can sort of look at it and go, okay, needs just a little bit of shaping, a little bit of... Pretty much do that with the move brush. From that point on. And you'll want to go back and define little bits and pieces here and there and maybe move it around how you want. But that's just a real quick how to get an ear roughed in so you can have it in place to sort of get an idea of what things are looking like. Okay, um, that's it for how to sculpt an ear really super fast. Um, just, you know, I, I always do them exactly the same way, follow those couple of steps, and then you know, once you've got roughed out, you can change it, give it more character or whatever. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll have more up before too very long.